Welcome back to the second episode of the second season of Let's Play Sunderland in Football Manager 2019. I'm Adrian and as always we are starting off with a lot of action. And since last episode we played four games, three in the league and one in the League Cup. And keep your eyes on the Cup game versus Filda because it was a crazy one. I would even say sensational one. Uh, we were behind twice during the game and the second time we were behind by two goals. This was just pure madness. But other than that, uh, this may sound a bit, a bit cocky, but I feel like this far into the season, I can't tell much difference between the League One and the Championship. Yes, during the second part of last season, we completely dominated things. But during uh, the first half, we did pretty well, even though we, we lost a point uh, now and then. And we usually found ourselves around second to third place in the table. And this feels like exactly like it. Now, of course, uh, it's very early in the season, so uh, things can definitely change and we could start falling behind. And uh, as always with, with this action sequence, it's all the games except one. Uh, it's except uh, a Blackburn game, because that was the goalless one. So no, not much to, to show from, uh, from that game. But yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy while we look uh, through the last few games here. And that brings us to this league table. Yes, I know my skin is a bit bugged. It's hard to tell reader points for the first two few teams. I'm sorry about that. But we are actually currently topping the table. One point ahead of Swansea and uh, one point ahead against uh, Bristol Rovers and uh, Derby. So there are three p teams with, uh, with only one point behind us. Today we are playing with versus uh, Sheffield United. And they currently in mid table, but uh, need to remind uh, you guys it's very early in the season. They actually only lost one game, and uh, during the season predictions, they were predicted to be uh, pretty high up in the league. So I think this could be a challenging game. I think it could be an interesting game, and I think it could be a very uh, important game. And this is uh, going to be the first time you actually see Joe Allen in action because uh, in, in the last episode we signed him uh, during uh, the same day as the game so there wasn't enough time for squad registration to go through but now he is on the pitch. Actually he just come back from a short injury because uh, he picked up like a two or three a day uh, injury recent, um, recently. And uh, I mean we are off to a really 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 good start. And if you can, can say it like this, I mean, it's so easy to get cocky just because you win a few games in the beginning. But if we can stay this way, I mean, we could maybe be dreaming about uh, the Premier League for next season. But yeah, we shouldn't get cocky this early. And this looks like an extremely boring first half. We get our first highlight and we play for almost 38 minutes when it happens. His ball win for Allen. Honeyman, Honeyman. Oh, he hit the woodwork. That could have been a sensational goal. But yeah, not much going on here in the first half. If you get the first highlight this far into the game, we have created a lot of chances according to statistics, but one single lousy highlight for the whole first half. Clearly, we need to tell the lads that uh, this has been a disappointment. I'm far from pleased with uh, what I just saw from this team. And also, let's go to the tactics. I'm going to change the tactics around, but I'm going to change mentality from positive to attacking, because clearly, if, uh, if you want to be fighting for... For the top spots in, in this league, we need to be taking three points at home. Here is the lead bitter with a corner into the box. Mac Burney, but it's just over the top bar. It's going to be a goal kick. Well, keeps on ticking on and not much going on at all. We are creating a lot of chances, but where are the highlights? Uh, I am considering going to strikers, but look at statistics as we are creating so many chances. I don't think it's, it's like any need for us to go more... Uh, more attacking, we are we are getting the chances, but I actually want to go to the uh let's see to, to the analysis uh let's see the teams and I want to take a look at the shots because we uh we are clearly struggling a lot. Why is that sounds like something is bugged here? Why isn't it showing the shots? Now it's showing the shots and we only want to see our shots. I mean, I was thinking like if we were taking a lot of long shots and that was the reason, but it's clearly not. 
We are taking shots really close into the box. I don't feel like we should change anything like uh, uh, around with those settings. I think I'm just going to make regular subs here, but it's still a bit strange. I'm not sure what is up with this. I think I'm actually going to sub uh, Joe Allen because uh, said he just come back from an injury. As you can tell, he's lacking match fitness. So uh, I think we can change you guys around like this, like that. And then Honeyman will change around with uh, uh, with Kurt, the new young German player in our team. Still, clock is just ticking away. What the heck, lads? What the heck? I think now we need to actually start thinking a bit more creatively and see what we can come up with. I think we should go two strikers like this. And then bring in uh, James uh, Wilson, one of our new strikers, and he will be at an advanced forward. And we are focusing on attacking. Come on, lads. 10 minutes. We've seen one lousy highlight and then in the first half and one lousy highlight in the second half. This is just not good enough. Here is Flanagan with a throw in into the box. Clear by the defense. Cattermore picks it up. Lead bitter. Lead bitter. And that's just not good enough once again. But at least we created two highlights in the second half, which is twice as funny as. As the first half here is Ovideo with a free kick and then he hits the wall and uh, nothing. That's a full time whistle. My gosh, this game. I'm lacking words. This, I mean, 18 shots to four. And we still didn't manage to get a goal. I mean, we didn't even manage to create many chances that gave us a highlight. Uh, that's not good enough. Looking at the league table, Derby overtook us. We are now down to second place. One point behind Derby at the same amount of points as Stoke with Swansea, Huddersfield, Bristol City just behind us. So it's really close on top and maybe this is the game making me pay for those cocky words I said in the beginning. But I can tell the last, it was not good enough. We are Sunderland, yes we are newly promoted, but this game I really feel like we could have done better. I know we could have done better. That's it for this episode. Hopefully I can show you some more goals in the next episode because... This was a disappointing end. Uh, but thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Press that like button and I'll see you in the next episode.